The battlefield was silent, no motion to be seen. A guardsman sat motionless, watching his very lifeblood leave his body. It was cold, and he was frightened. More frightened than he had been when the countless number of the enemies of the Emperor flooded from the hills. The guardsman feared the end. His weapon had claimed forty upon forty enemies before they had wounded him. He had thought the Emperor was with him as he fought to defend this world. Now among the piles of the dead, he was the last to draw breath. He knew that he would join the others. What lay beyond death was uncertain, and the uncertainty frightened him. And then he saw her. Striding elegantly among the dead, a lady wrapped in a red robe made her way across the battlefield. The grey, gloomy sky seemed to part for her, surrounding her with light. She inspected each of the fallen carefully before she knelt down to touch those who had fought for the Emperor. Closer and closer she ventured to the guardsman. O oh, stranger, the guardsman spoke, you must help me. The woman glanced towards him, her face radiant. As she approached, the guardsman felt warmth flowing through his body. The stranger knelt besides the guardsman and draped her cloak around his body. The stranger did not speak, she only smiled. Her face was the most beautiful the guardsman had ever seen. A hand as pure and flawless as the lady's face entwined itself with his becoming stained red with his blood. Oh, stranger, the guardsman spoke. Please speak to me. What words would you have me give? The lady answered, in a voice as gentle as a hymn. Words of comfort, dear stranger, words of comfort. I have failed the emperor. And how have you failed the Emperor, dear soldier? I fear I will die, dear stranger, I fear I will die. The stranger laughed. Oh, dear soldier, you have not failed the Emperor. You have given your life protecting him. A noble gesture. But you have also given your life defending his children. The noblest of gestures. Your time protecting the Emperor is over. Soon it will be time for the Emperor to protect you. The guardsman stirred, sitting upright and leaning into the shoulder of the lady, and he began to weep. Oh, stranger, I am not ready to meet the Emperor. The lady drew the guardsman close, embracing him as he wept. All fear the time when it comes. The end is a mystery. Oh, soldier, I will tell you not to be afraid of what lay ahead for you. I have seen beyond, and I know that it is your time. Oh, stranger, give me your name. If you are who I believe you are, your words will bring comfort. Death, dear soldier, I am known to you as death. The guardsman felt her pure, soft hand wipe away the tears staining his cheek and draw him closer to her breast. Lady Death, 
Tell me of the emperor before I meet him. I cannot, dear soldier, I cannot. The emperor knows you, and soon you will know him. The emperor knows all his children, but not all of his children know the emperor the same. I cannot tell you how you will know the emperor, but I can tell you not to fear him. He will accept you into the afterlife he has prepared for you. The lady lay the guardsman on his back and crossed his arms about him. The blood slowed. Lady Death, Lady Death, please do not leave me to face the Emperor alone. The guardsman spoke weakly. Dear soldier, I will never leave you. I will never leave you. <laughs>